Hello design lovers, I'm Ashley Childers and today I'm sharing my best designer garden ideas when it comes to creating charming containers. These charming container combinations will not only add beauty and interest to your outdoor spaces this season, but they are just a really great way to add texture and color to your porches and stoops, patios and decks. Now I know you're going to love today's video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more weekly design goodness as we drop a new video every week. Now, first things first, let's head out to the local garden center so we can pick out all the beautiful plants that we're going to use to create our charming containers. Okay, we have made it to the garden center. This is my favorite nursery in town. It's locally owned. They have tons and tons of flowers and trees and they have mulch and everyone that works here is so knowledgeable about landscaping and about plants. So. If you have the opportunity to support a locally owned nursery in your area this spring, be sure to do so. So now we are going to head over to the perennial and annual garden and pick out all of the beautiful potted plants for our containers. Here we go. Okay, we are back at the house and I wanted to group all of the plants together to show you a little bit of an inventory of what we have and how diverse our selection is. So we have got, first of all, this is a really good pro tip. I always try to grab a few hanging baskets because they are so full and a lot of times at the garden center, they have them planted out with multiple plants. So it's basically like this beautiful container already ready to go. And you can just take the plant material out of the hanging basket and pot it in your container. It's a really great way to add abundance immediately. It doesn't have to grow in. So they're also a really good value for money usually. So if there's ever some beautiful hanging baskets at your garden center, I say grab them, super easy. So we've got a couple of those petunias. I've got the jasmine. This is from the inside of my house. If you watch some of our videos over the last month, I had this on the cocktail table in our great room in a really beautiful vessel. And now I'm gonna bring it out for the summer. So we've got that various types of ferns. I love to put lacy ferns into a container mixed with other plant materials. So we've got these foxtail ferns. I have these other beautiful little smaller lacy ferns. They just add so much texture to a container. And I love to combine something like that with maybe taller, more like wispy flowers. So here we've got salvia. This is one of my very favorites. This is the pink si skyscraper salvia. It is absolutely such a workhorse in the garden, either in a container or planted in your garden. And if you have hummingbirds, this is like their favorite. They just flock to it. So there's that. We've got some sage. We've got various petunias up here, some more ferns. We've got some verbena. I love that for trailing. Over here we have, these are coral bells which i love too because they have these little wispy flowers and i found these this year that have this gorgeous purpley eggplant color so let's talk real fast about color i like to use pinks whites and purples in my garden that's just what those are the color palette that i like most it gets super hot here in the summer so i feel like that's a cooling color palette as opposed to maybe oranges reds and yellows it doesn't matter, you need to do what you like, but for me, pinks, purples, and whites. So I always gravitate towards those within my container gardening. So I've got various tones of those colors that are going to go into our containers. One last thing to think about when you are buying plants for your containers is I like to always make sure within my containers, for the most part, that I have something tall, something full, 
and something trailing. That's just gonna add a lot of textural interest to your containers. Now that doesn't happen all the time, but I like to make sure that I have some of my containers that have those elements in them. So let's take all these beautiful plants that we purchased at our garden center and let's put them into our containers. I'm gonna give you a few of my other tips for planting them out. We've moved over to the garden steps and before we start planting out our containers, I want to go through a few pro tips about just the containers in general and then of course like your potting soil and fertilizer. So one thing that I love to do when I am grouping containers and I think it just makes a really beautiful designer statement is keep the color consistent. So all of these pots that I have on our garden steps are all of a similar color palette. This one has a little bit of detail on it, but they're all in that creamy glaze. I have terracotta pots throughout other parts of the garden, but they're also grouped together. And you don't have to do this. It's just a really pretty statement. I like using this particular creamy glaze on the steps because our steps are gray brick and they just pop and it keeps it light and airy and fresh. Our summers get really hot, so the white glazed containers are perfect. Now, when you are preparing your containers for your flowers, something to think about is using really good potting soil. So this is a great mix. It's organic. And if you pot out your containers every single year, you're going to want to change out your potting soil in your container at least every two years, maybe every year if you want to, but just to make sure that all of the plants that you put inside have a really good nutritional foundation. Also, put a little bit of slow release fertilizer in your pot with, you know, mix it in with your potting soil as you're planting your plants out. That's just gonna give your plants a boost as they get transplanted into the container and just give you really beautiful blooms throughout the summer. You're going to want to still fertilize. We fertilize a lot. Um, almost every week for our containers, but this is a great way. If this is all you do, just do this one step and give your plants a good start and a great foundation for the rest of the season. Okay, now last pro tip, I have grouped all of my plants. It took me a little bit. I kind of played around with the textures and the sizes and shapes and colors to make sure that the statement that I'm making cascading down these steps is what I want. I love that English garden, abundant, overgrown, wispy look. That's just what I like in containers. So I've made sure that I have some of those really beautiful, wispy, tall and trailing elements in all of the containers as they go down. And that way, before you start potting it, you can kind of just see how everything's going to play out. So here we go. Let's start potting out our containers. Okay, so let's talk about our finished container. First of all, I want to show you the composition. So we have three different elements in this container. We have the gara, we have the fern, and we have the verbena. So I started with these three plants, the taller ones at the back grouped together. Then we grouped our two, this is two ferns, and then three verbena. So we've got our tall, our full, and then this will be cascading. Something to think about or a pro tip when you're planting out your containers is the plant material that's towards the front, the edge or lip of your container, angle those slightly as you're planting. They don't have to go in straight up and down. You can just tilt your plant forward slightly and what happens is it gives this beautiful full effect that spills over the edge of the container. 
Also, I like grouping plants like this because I feel like it makes a bigger impact. So you've got this really beautiful, tall, wispy impact, the fullness, and then this cascading will come down this side. So it's a really easy way to create an abundant look in your containers. Now, all we need to do is add in a little bit of fertilizer on top, mix it in with the soil, and this one is good to go. Okay, we have potted out all of these beautiful containers. Now, I have a ton more. We've got a lot more work ahead of me, but I want to talk through what we've got going on here. First of all, this side of the garden gets some morning sun, but it really does get a lot of shade. I know probably some of you are worried about these ferns, but they're gonna be fine right here because it's not full sun the whole day by any means. Um, so up here in this top container, we have this little fern, and then we've got the gara, and then we've got the verbena. Second up, I've got the pink skyscraper salvia, one of my favorites, and then the alyssum that's right here. And then there was already some English ivy in this pot that I had from last summer. This little pot right here has our foxtail fern, and then I've just put in some creeping jenny. I love to add that to the front of a container as well because it's just going to spill out over the summer. And then on the very bottom, we've got our autumn sage and then this little sweet petunia and this one is called color crush pink vein and then of course our jasmine in the front as you can see we've kind of sprinkled the color throughout the four different containers so i've got pinks pinks purples purples whites and then when this blooms right here it's going to be white and then added in some textural interest with our ferns and the jasmine Just makes a really beautiful statement this is more of a kind of cottage loose wispy organic statement but i wanted that because i that's the type of containers that i like i like for them to look overflowing and abundant so i think we achieved that Okay, so there you have it, friends. I hope that you enjoyed watching how I planted out some of my charming containers for this season. Now, of course, I cannot wait to see all those beautiful plants grow in and be abundant throughout the rest of the season. So be sure to stay tuned because we'll do a few more garden tours. You'll be able to see how they just grow and become overflowing and prolific. Now, I have linked some of my very favorite garden items below. You can check it out. It's all on my Amazon shopping list just to help you as you are creating your charming containers this season. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments which one of the containers was your favorite and if there's something specific that you're excited to plant in your charming containers this year. Now if you love all things design be sure to follow us over on Instagram at Ashley Childers Home and also check us out on Pinterest so you can see a little behind the scenes of our daily design adventures and become a part of our design loving community and if you want more designer tips and tricks right now you're going to want to watch this playlist next as always i'm ashley childers thank you so much for watching i really value this wonderful design community that we have created please remember that good design is for everyone so create a home that inspires you have fun creating your charming containers and fall in love with where you live one room at a time. <laughs>